And you can see this not only in the open space around, but also in the development of some of the housing that really reflects what is so significant about the Hopedale story. So now we have this protected landscape where water is protected through open space, and now we have this little island. And so rather than putting the road in the center and the houses with their back to the pond, they decided they put the road on the outside of this little island. So you have this marvelously constructed, beautiful homes where they're facing the water, which from a quality perspective is a marvelous view. You get up in the morning and look out and there's this marvelous mill pond. And then all the backyard stuff, which is the clothes and the trash cans, you don't get to see. And so we have this remarkable vision of this mill village that really Aiden Ballou would be very proud because this reflected the kind of significance and the sensitivity to the landscape that you don't find everywhere, certainly not in corporate America back in the Gilded Age. So I think one of the things you see in Hopedale is that there is this 15-year tradition of a commune that really serves as, as the foundation for the village. So even when George Draper comes in and turns it into a more traditional textile mill village, or in this case, a textile machine mill village, Aiden Blue isn't kicked out. He's still there. He's now the Unitarian minister uh, in town. He's still a very important uh, part of, of developing this community. And as you go through Hopedale today, you see street names peace and hope and, and freedom and all these street names that really show some of that original communal spirit that was the underpinnings of this community. Aiden Ballou was really the practitioner and a chief uh, theoretician of behind this, uh, this theory of non-resistance. And it wasn't pacifism. Non-resistance meant that regardless of whatever was happening to you or your family, you did not resist. You did not put up a fight. He wrote extensively about it, and Tolstoy in Russia was deeply influenced by Aidan Ballou's writing, as was Dr. King. Kind of really remarkable. While at the same time, we have this very successful machine shop going on. 